Hi everyone, my name is Jen and I'm a student occupational therapist and this week I've been focusing my videos on the zones of regulation. For today's topic, I am going to discuss various ways you can introduce an individual with self-regulation challenges on understanding and recognizing various emotions through other facial expressions. So why is it so important for an individual that has difficulty with self-regulation to understand and recognize facial expressions? Well, for individuals that have self-regulation deficits, it is more challenging to recognize other facial expressions um, because they have a flatter effect, meaning that they don't express emotions as strongly through facial expressions and are less um, animated than peers that are similar in age. So one way that you can increase an individual that is struggling with um, self-regulation is by providing them with um, practicing different facial expressions. If you're doing it with a group of individuals, you can have them practice facial expressions to each other. Um, another way would be that you as the teacher or um, OT are able to practice your facial expressions and asking the individual or individuals you are working with to say what facial expression you are using. So for the activity for this video, I'm going to show you a fun way to interact with the individual or individuals you are working on with the zones of regulation. Um, so in this activity, we're going to be matching pictures of various facial expressions to the correct traffic sign. Um, and these traffic signs were made in the previous video activity. Um, so if you want to take a look at how to make those, you are more than welcome to. So for this activity, the facial expressions um, that I am speaking of in regards to pictures, I cut out prior to this video. Um, you can also have the individual or individuals you are working with also cut these out or find them in a magazine, which might be helpful. Um, and then we're going to take those facial expression pictures and then um, put them on the signs that we made in our last video. So what I'm really going for in this is, this is for the blue zone and I put on the, some of the emotions that you would feel in the blue zone. And then this is the green zone and I put some of the facial expressions that you could have in the green zone, which is the go zone. And then I left the yellow zone, which is a caution sign. And then I left the red zone, which is the stop sign um, to do and show you over this video. So you can either like mix up the um, pictures that you cut out or have the individuals cut them out and then mix them up and then have them place on the correct um, sign which could be a little bit more challenging. For example, I could hold these two up and say, which one goes where? So frustrated goes in the yellow, this is a caution sign, and then aggressive goes in the red, which is the stop sign. So then they can place them in the correct uh, sign and then use some glue and then have them place it on the correct sign. So another example would be anxious and worried or angry. So which one goes where? So you would say, hopefully you, they would say anxious goes slash worried goes with the um, caution sign and angry goes in the red stop sign. You can also do exactly the same thing that I just previously did. Just glue it and then place it 
uh, the correct sign. And then I did just want to show you an example. Um, if you wanted to have them draw um, a facial expression to um, have them better understand various facial expressions, um, or if you think this would be a good uh, idea for an individual you were working with, um, you can actually draw that on a blank face. So the blank face looks like this. Kind of, and then you could have them draw it too, and then label it and put it in the correct um, sign. So I'm just going to um, continue doing this and then show you the end result. And this is the end result. Blue and green zones. And then this is the yellow and red zones. I hope you found this video educational and that you enjoyed the activity. I look forward to next time. Thanks for watching.